What's going on guys? It's Mike Gray. Welcome to the channel. Maybe hat on and then we could do one glasses down, like down, halfway down so I can still see your eyes. Alright, let's play with that. Boom, there you go. We'll see if this works. All right, I thought that I had some Porsche 400, but I ended up bringing only 160, so we gotta make this work. Oh, this is sick. Yeah, this is insane. It's actually better that we brought Porsche 160 because the light is like super bright, so look back. There you go. Chin down a little bit more. Hold that. These shots are at F16 at 125th. But we're, you know, we've had the, the perverted photographer talk quite a bit on my channel. So I just, I, I like to make sure everybody's comfortable. Have you ever shot with a perverted photographer? I, have, yeah. I feel like I almost. Feel like every month every model at one point or another there's always been a photographer who's like yeah you know yeah i feel like you can gauge from the instagram too like you can gauge from from the type of work that they usually do yeah and if they ask like oh i only want to shoot you naked like yeah what is that supposed to mean yeah there's what? no styling there's no makeup artist there's no one that's going to be on set with you it's just you and the photographer butt ass naked like what are you yeah. supposed for <laughs> Well, we uh, mastered this backyard, that's for sure. <laughs> it's gonna be real quick can't litter we're still in action um this is gonna be really quick so you got to be quick sometimes especially when you're dealing with sun and you're shooting on Porsche 160 you don't want to be lacking I forgot the Porsche 400 so we have no kind of leeway right now um I gotta shoot at a low f-stop I gotta shoot at a low shutter speed so um it is what it is we, we got to take what we can get at this time but it's cool. We're gonna run through this roll real quick. All right, here we go. Sun, then anywhere. As long, I just need sunlight hitting you. Yeah. Right. right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. The of the street. And maybe you can like squat. Yeah. Yeah. Then we can have a little bit. That's sick. Yeah. Different looking locations. That's the nice part about this street. I'm actually surprised how many cars are on it today. Speaking of. Cars. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. It's fine. My old apartment, everyone on that entire block saw me naked one time. With the, the other leg forward? Yeah, yeah. There you go. You do the same thing looking at me, though, this time? Of course. <laughs> did they, what did they do? They were just dead center, did not want to look like type of thing. Like, will not glance, will not glance. They were they, they were that uncomfortable, huh? Yeah. That's hilarious. They're homies, though. You can tell. Yeah, yeah. Those are the people that are like. They we don't care. You do you. Yeah, y'all get it in. Yes, me too. <laughs> <laughs> nice.
Uh oh, okay. Let's go. It's just like the car party now? Yeah. As soon as there's absolutely not a single car. It's just nothing but and cars. And now it's cars. Yeah, we've shot in the hell out of this look. Smile. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by that good old Breathe Easy Tea. When your nose is messed up and your sinuses is to shits, drink some of this. It'll revive you, brighten your day, enlighten your spirit. Now with that, I'll follow it up with a message. Inner peace creates peace in the world. I rock with that. Oh yeah, that shit is way too hot. I'm gonna set it down right here. We are back with another video. I know it's been a little minute. Your boy got busy, so we had to detour and uh, prioritize, but like I said, these videos are gonna constantly be on the priority list for me, and as many times as I can get them out frequently, I will do so. I wanna give a shout out to Sloan Waltz. Thank you so much for being a part of this shoot. Um, she absolutely killed it as many of the people that I shoot with do. She was nice enough to provide us with her house. And I hate that we didn't get to do like an in-depth tour on camera, but um, a lot of legendary art pieces and a lot of legendary things that they did have in that house. And it was super dope to shoot at. With the film, y'all already know, we shot on Portra 160. I intended on bringing 400, but completely forgot it. And uh, I only had Portra 160. I had one roll of Tri-X, so not every black and white shot is Tri-X. I did convert, but I did have a roll of Tri-X and I had a few rolls of Portra 800 for all of the indoor shots that we took. Let me just go down the list, cause I got a, I got a notes list on my phone. So I need to follow, I need to follow the list before I get too out of hand. Okay, my favorite look was, of course, look number three. I enjoyed all of the looks, but the plan was I brought, so I put together the last look. I was going for a 60s royalty Vogue theme, and I wanted to use my favorite colors, which are black and red, and I wanted to incorporate that in her wardrobe, so we did that with the lipstick, and I found this super dope hat and this fur coat which just set the bar for for that 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 entire look uh, and she just absolutely crushed it one of the shoots where i did shoot in harsh harsh broad daylight and it got to me a little bit um usually the film i guess i get lucky the film doesn't react how it how it did this time to the sunlight but a lot of the color shots um just the colors didn't resonate too well but i'm i'd imagine it's because the the sunlight was super harsh i metered all of these shots at box speed so nothing was um overexposed even the indoor shots so the indoor shots were a little bit underexposed because i was shooting them at box speed but i knew that for processing 
I was gonna push the Portra 800, so the, all the indoor shots, I pushed two stops. And all of the outdoor shots, I pushed one stop, just to see what happened. I wanted to play with it. And that's probably another reason why uh, some of the outdoor shots, the colors were a little funky, but I was able to manipulate them a little bit in Photoshop, which, you know, is a lifesaver. I really enjoyed how the Portra 800 reacted to being pushed two stops. And I was honestly surprised that uh, the clarity of the images were pretty spot on to what you know I initially imagined for the photos. I am truly glad that I did push because I, I mean, number one, I would have been underexposed on all of the indoor shots. And number two, it gave me that safety net. All of the indoor shots, I used the ring light. So it's no excuses. Whenever, you, whenever you're looking for a light or you need to, to compensate, for, for some light that you're missing, improvise, man. She had a ring light. She was like, hey, I have a ring light. If you want to use it, you're free to use it. I was like, bet, okay, well, we might as well try it out. I left two rolls at her crib and I didn't realize it until like damn near a week later. And she hit me, she was like, are these your rolls? So I left the roll of Portra 160 and I left the roll of Portra 800. So I haven't even processed them yet but I'll probably drop some of those photos in a video that I'm doing in the future when I hit my one year of film photography or photography in general in May. I will be dropping a video, of course, like highlighting you know, my experience through my, my first year uh, with photography. I get in this groove when I'm shooting, man, and I really don't focus on my surroundings, which I need to get really better at. And I straight up, just knocked the damn piece off the wall the homeowner definitely was there and uh, it was definitely an expensive painting and frame but uh they were lucky enough to let me pass on that um, i offered to pay they were nice people please pay attention because you don't want to end up dealing with what i had to deal with with the embarrassment of knocking their 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 piece down um yeah so I apologize to you guys, Sloan, Oliver, all y'all. Sorry, sorry again for uh, for knocking that shit down. <laughs> I enjoy the spontaneity, right? But for me, like for me, the by far the results that I got from the look that I put together, the location that I knew I wanted to take those photos, and kind of mentally preparing. I realized that I did get better results. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. We got a historical figures video coming up soon. So y'all stay tuned for that. I'd love for you guys to comment below which photo you like the most and why. Y'all are super informative. And the thing is I learn about my image through you guys. So um, certain things that I normally or typically wouldn't even look at you guys bring to light and it's teaching me that's how i'm honestly learning about those key elements through an image and how i'm able to identify certain things because you all give me those tools so i appreciate that and i would love for you like i said to comment below do you guys plan for your shoots or are you guys more on the spontaneous side i know street photography can be more on the spontaneous for sure but I wanna know what type of photography you guys do. It seems like I have like a wide range of, of different photographers. So uh, I would love to, to get to know what you guys do. Subscribe to the channel, we hit 10K. So yeah, comment, subscribe to the channel, please. Like the video if you rocked with it. And I will see y'all next week, man. Y'all stay up. We good, we great.